Hey Gender Queer Chat, happy Tuesday, it's Matt and um, this week's topic is to what extent do other people's opinions uh, impact your life or your decisions as a genderqueer person and um, who are the people whose opinions um, affect you the most. So I guess in general, as a person in general, I don't really have a lot to worry about in regards to what other people um, think of me or at least their outward opinions don't really affect me that much. That might be an age thing or the fact that I've been living independently for quite some time or that I don't really have a very um, close relationship with my parents or have learnt to, uh, to sort of block out what they um, uh, want and, and say about me as opposed to what I want. And on the same token, I think they've just kind of uh, learnt to let me be who I want to be and do what I want to do and uh, don't really push that. Uh, push that boundary anymore. So I don't, don't really have that parental influence and uh, generally my friends are very supportive and accepting of me um, and what I want to do. So I, I very rarely come into um, much conflict there. Um, in regards to my genderqueer identity, uh, I guess people's opinions do affect me more from the point of people who either aren't aware of my identity and are just saying um, things in regards to gender or um, whatever that you know, really irks me or, you know, makes me not feel good about myself, even though usually it's just coming from a place where um, they just don't know, um, they're unaware how I feel about myself, um, and just unaware about, you know, what, you know, gender binary, gender queer stuff anyway, as, you know, the majority of people are. So it's actually those people who uh, affect me the most, and obviously that's not an intentional thing, and it's not, not directed at me personally, but um, I find people's opinions uh, in that way much more um, impact me much more than um, those of the actual people who are around me because as I said generally uh, my friends accept me and love me and support me and uh, family do as well and yeah surround myself with those sort of people so I um, haven't run into a lot of conflict. Um, for me as well because I don't outwardly present um, in a sort of gender non-conforming way um, people would be unaware of my how I feel about my gender unless I um, unless I spoke to them about it. Um, I'm not very confronting in that sense, so um, don't really run into any kind of uh, conflict there. I guess if, if I was more gender non-conforming outwardly and uh, people saw that then they'd feel maybe more inclined to share their opinions on that and that would, yeah, I guess that would be very difficult to deal with if the, the people around you were either showing their disapproval or telling the telling you that you should be a certain way or dress a certain way or act a certain way um, yeah that would be much more difficult to, to handle. Um, I think I'm also at the stage now though with my identity where I feel really comfortable in myself and I'm just less concerned uh, with what other, other people think. Um, on the same time I think I'm also my <laughs> worst enemy in that respect. Uh, I think I worry more about what I think people will think rather than what they actually think. Um, so an example I gave uh, many videos ago, back when I, probably my first or second video that I posted was about um, my workplace and how um, even though I changed jobs and it was at the time where I was really uh, you know, feeling comfortable with my gender identity and wanting to share that with people, feeling like I needed to share that with people for a couple of reasons, I, I never actually came out to my work colleagues. And it was actually our one year anniversary of this job um, a few weeks ago and yeah, same situation, I haven't uh, come out to them, haven't talked to them about it and so they're none the wiser. And as I said, I don't present an agenda non-conforming way, so it's never really had to come up or has never been an issue. Um, but yeah, because I haven't really uh, said that sort of stuff, but I'm still prone to what other people um, say in general about gender or just other issues, um, it hurts. Like, I don't want them uh, to know how I identify so that they have to censor themselves, but at the same time, it's kind of tough dealing with you know, ignorance of people not knowing any better and being in close proximity with them. And when you're working with people you know, five days a week and um, in their faces, of course, those sort of uh, their, people's opinions are going to have an impact. Uh, while it doesn't you know, really affect my life or doesn't really affect my decisions, it makes it a little bit more harder, or more uncomfortable and simultaneously makes me want to come out to them and let them know and you know, kind of confront them or educate them about it but at the same time, you know, it kind of makes me retreat as well and um, 
you know, makes my identity my identity and not really wanting to share it. I want to particularly, you know, rock the boat too much in my life. But at the same time, I'm not going to pander to other people's needs. So people's opinions don't really affect me that much. If people have constructive criticism or um, choose to share something with me or even, you know, have a go at me about something that they believe I'm doing wrong or uh, something, then certainly I'll take that on board. But at the end of the day, you know, I'm me and that sort of has limited value. So, uh, yeah, that's it. But um, cool. Anyway, good to be back, and uh, thanks for listening, and I'll see you all next week. Bye.